Hi everyone, it's Chrissy Rose here and this video has been a very long time in the making. I haven't done a YouTube video in I think probably about six years because since that time I have had a lot going on so I gave birth to a child who is now five years old <laughs> and I have been busy ever since and so it is very very difficult for me to make videos about my favorite thing which um, seems to be designer handbags and so um, I haven't posted in a long time but I really 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 wanted to do a video of an unboxing of the hacker project which is a combination of gucci and balenciaga so basically um each company hacked each other's design codes and they were able to create a masterpiece <laughs> um design using the design codes um of each other's companies and so I have been wanting to do this unboxing. I was like, I do not want to even open up my box without doing it um, via a YouTube video. And so my goal is to try to start making more videos of designer handbags. Like I want to do one on the Hermes Birkin as well as some other very unique bags that I have purchased over the years and recently that I have not been able to do a YouTube video on. And YouTube has also changed a lot <laughs> since the last time I posted videos because now you have so many more influencers and people that are doing these unboxing videos and that are doing videos on bags and different designer duds. And so it's definitely um, not me trying to reinvent the wheel, but I am happy to be able to kind of get back um, with you guys and share what I love. So since that time, I noticed that um, I have up to 88 subscribers now. <laughs> so I guess people had watched my other handbag videos and decided that um, they found my channel interesting um, when it comes to speaking about designer bags. And so I would like to do more of that. So now let's start, of course, with the unboxing. And I have, I actually got three of the items from the hacker project which included um, a wallet some shoes and then i was able to get one of the exclusive bags which is the highly sought after hourglass bag um which took a lot of work <laughs> for me um to be able to get my hands on and so i will kind of start with the unboxing and then I will share with you all the story of everything that I had to go through to get this back. And as I'm speaking now, I'm even thinking of maybe splitting the videos up because I don't want the video to be too long. And I know myself, I have been watching YouTube videos and I will sit there and scream at the video, like get to the, <laughs> the bag. So I know a lot of times people do not like to listen to the commentary. They want to see the bags. And so I was like, I'm going to try to um, make sure that I don't make the same mistakes that a lot of people do who do the unboxings that hurt me, which is they talk so much and you never get to see the bag. So here we go. So I'm going to start with, so these are like two of the other items that I have, but of course the larger one <laughs> um, is the hourglass bag. So that is the one that I am going to show you guys and share with you first. So to get this bag, <laughs> I literally went online and I saw where it could only be purchased in store and the nearest store to me was literally three hours away. So I jumped in my car the next morning and I drove three hours because my goal was to try to be the first person at the store so that I would be able to request this bag before anyone else could try to request it. But little did I know, there were already people um, who shop with Gucci a lot throughout the year who Gucci refers to as their VIGs, which are like very important people, but they're very important Gucci people and they spend a lot of money like throughout the year and so those are typically the people that they give priority on exclusive bags so i was very determined because the one that i wanted was the actual small hourglass bag and um a little birdie of course um informed me that the store 
that I had to go to that was near me would be getting a couple in, but that they couldn't promise me or guarantee me the bag. And so um, I was tipped off to go ahead and try to put down the deposit to pay for the bag in the hopes that if the other people turned it down, then I would have already paid for the bag and then I would be hopefully somewhere booted up the list to go ahead and get the bag. And so that is what I did. Um, and I, of course, was bumped down <laughs> um, by um, the VIGs because um, a few of them had already laid claims to it and wanted the bag, even though they had not put down the deposit for the bag. But they were willing to wait, um, which is understandable. So business is business because these are the people who typically spend money with Gucci throughout the year. So I was not mad at the store's policy or mad at the people for um, being able to get a hold of the bag before me. But of course, I was disappointed because I have been trying to collect only like exclusive handbags that you won't be able to see everyone carrying. And so... Um, I was um, sent back home empty handed the first day that I drove over, but then I received a text message the next morning that even though I wouldn't be able to get the small Gucci hourglass bag, that I could um, come over because they had a medium that they wanted me to see and to see if I would be interested in that. And um, I was told that the store would only be getting one. And so since I had shown such great interest and had done a lot to try to get the bag, um, they were willing to prioritize me and sell me the medium hourglass bag. And so that is what I did. I went over, I saw it, I liked it, and I got the medium hourglass bag. So here we go. So this is my first time like actually seeing it again um, since I left the store because of course the my um, sales assistant boxed it for me. And so this is what the inside looks like. Let me actually turn it around this way so that you guys can see. So as you can see that paper says Gucci, the inside of the box, if you can see, has like the Balenciaga um, logo written in it. So, we have the bag here. So let me put the box down. So now that I'm getting ready to start. Okay, so this is the dust bag. Outside says Gucci. And then the other side states Balenciaga. So I'm getting excited. I, I feel like I'm getting chills because I really, really like this bag. And even though um, it wasn't the one that I wanted, I am still very, very pleased with being able to at least get <laughs> something that I could have as a keepsake. So this right here, let me see, I don't want it to shine too bright. So this right here is the actual bag. This is the back of the bag. And this right here is the front of the bag. And as you can see, it has the Gucci logo on there. It has the Balenciaga. Um, antique brass clasp and it is made in the hourglass shape which was very popular for Balenciaga and so let's open it up and see so this is my first time seeing inside of it because I didn't open it at the store um, it was so exclusive that they literally had to take me into a back room to show me the bag because they didn't want other customers at the store to know that they had the bag and so that's how exclusive it was. So even the whole buying process um, of the bag was very exciting for me, um, just to have to go through all of that and deal with all of that. So let me, let me make sure I'm opening it properly. Okay. So it's right here, it's that, and let's take it out. So assuming this is the strap, which is good because at first when I saw it, like I 
didn't know whether the medium like had a strap or not like I was thinking I was gonna have to carry it top handle with my hand and I was not gonna be too happy about that but I was just kind of like eh, well I, I do want to have the bag so I'll just have to take the one that I'll have to carry with the handle but I later looked online again and I did see where the medium also came with the strap so that is good and it has like the the strap um, clasps or that you can of course attach the strap to right here so that is good where I will be able to clasp it and wear it crossbody so I'm, I'm happy and pleased with that and I guess it has like a magnetic clasp because it keeps on on the clasp shut <laughs> okay and this is the let me show it to you this way so I'm trying to do it way where you get a better view so if you, as you can see the inside has the Balenciaga print which is very very unique and um, it of course has the Gucci um, label ultimately um, and it was made in Italy right here this little black thing that I'm pointing at but the inside um, of course looks very unique so pleased with that let's see what the zip part has And the zip part, of course, just have like, I guess the regular pamphlets and things that any bag would have. So just so you all can see that it does have a zip part on the inside. So I am happy with my own purchase to say the least. And because we still have, so I'm, I'll give you all one more view of it. And of course, because we still have like more time I can go ahead and I will unbox my wallet and I will probably do the shoes in like a separate video but of course um thanks to technology um you all can kind of just fast forward to whatever parts of this video that you want to see so this right here is the wallet um and it of course came wrapped and I just unattached it while I was speaking with y'all it of course came wrapped and inside the Gucci box, this is, let's see, I don't know this is, of course, how it looks, um, I think the light reflection, it's giving a lot of light reflection. So, these are the cards and stuff. I actually ordered this one online. I was able to get the wallet online, and as you can see, it has like the Gucci right there and then the Balenciaga so this is really cute the way they designed it so it has the Gucci cover and then when you lift it it has Balenciaga so I was able to order this one online because um, I think I got it like the next day when it was actually um, available online and then literally the day after that they sold out online and made it where it was only available in the stores and so this is what it looks like I feel like when I go closer like the lighting kind of gets a little rough. So I kind of hold it back here, but hopefully you all be able to see. So this is the front. It has like the Balenciaga um, brass, antique brass um, logo buckle on the front. And of course it is in the Gucci print. So this is very nice and unique. This is what it looks like on the bottom. Let's open it up and see, cause it's, Kind of like a wallet slash card case so of course it has that in there but this is the inside of it i guess where you kind of keep your cards in and let's see what else we have here okay so it, unbu it unsnaps <laughs> again paper and then it has this other side where i guess you can keep like cards and you can keep money in here so it's like a wallet wallet so it has of course you can see where you can insert your cash and then it has like card slots throughout so one two three card slots so in total you can keep a few a few credit cards in here and of course it has like um gucci imprinted in here as well as a serial number so i guess that would be kind of like the authenticity part but this is what it looks like um I am very pleased with my purchases of both the bag and the wallet. I'm glad that I was able to obtain them and 
I am happy to own a piece of fashion history. So anyhow, um, I would like for you to, of course, um, if you like this video, then do hit the like button below as well as the subscribe button. And I will post more videos in the near future. And um, hopefully I will get better at, at these videos. Um, because some people are like professional um, talk show hosts <laughs> at this point on YouTube. But hopefully I will get better as time goes on and I do more of these um, videos. I'm trying to kind of dust the cobwebs off. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you will like and subscribe. I hope that I was able to um, give you a little more information on the bags from this particular collection from the hacker um, project that was done by Gucci and Balenciaga. And I hope to be able to congregate with you guys later on on a different bag. So thank you for watching and I will talk with you soon.